So you want to set up a custom printer configuration in the Fusion 360 slicer and you want to check if there's a new post processor file for it. Where do you go? That's a good question and I tell you what in the next minute or so I'm going to show you. So let's jump into it together. So as we go to look for a new post processing file, the first thing we need to do is to go up here to actions and click on the post processor icon. So it's going to pull up the post processor interface and what we're going to do is go down here to the bottom where it says search for posts in Autodesk and we're going to click that. Now what that's going to do is it's going to open a browser window and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to any type and we're going to choose additive. Now you can also choose any time, any vendor. Now as of the publication of this video there's not a lot of post processors out there. I expect this to change over time and that's one of the reasons I'm doing this video. So as it changes you know where to go and you know how to set up a new post processor. Now here we can share the post processor. There's an RSS feed to track the, if there's changes to the post processor which is another interesting thing because again you can see the versioning etc. So if you're using this post processor and there are changes for it you can get an RSS feed notifying you of those changes so you can get the latest post processor. Now the other piece is you can also download these post processors but where do you put them? Hey that's a good question. There is actually a folder for them and if we go up here we can look and we can see this is where my folder is for those posts. Now the piece is you can go here and you can change the folder so you can put the folder wherever you want, load those post processors uh, in you know, depending on what post processors you have in that file. So hopefully you found this handy. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. There'll be more on this. Uh, Swag Shop's in the corner, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.